Uh, I, I went to the Lost City premiere with you all last night. It was a ton of fun. How was it, like, laughing with the crowd again? Was that the first time in a while? Yeah. Yeah, it was the first time I've been to a cinema in two years. Mm -hmm. um, and to watch that film with an audience, it was, yeah, it was awesome. It was so nice to hear the reactions. Yeah. It's, it's tricky for me, literally, my producing partner and I literally met backstage. We're like, can we open the film back up? Because there, was some, like, there were like five to six moments that we both landed on that we were like, we're not happy with that. We need to go back in. So it's, it's hard to watch it for the first time and not be uber critical. But it's really enjoyable to laugh at everybody else. That's fun. That's fun. The energy there was great. It was so nice. Now, the story is so fun, more because you play Loretta, who is a writer who kind of ends up in her own journey. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you both, you both have had awesome roles throughout your career. If you had to live out the journey of a character you have played before, who would you want to experience their experience? I don't really play super cool people, so <laughs> I would I want to... And also, we, I think we both play people who get into terrible situations yeah, I know. a lot. I, guess, yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, well, yeah. I'd love to be, I mean, I'd love to have magical powers, so if I could be in his world You can play early Harry, on, yeah. Oh, let's I'd, reboot I'd like the to... series like that. Can you imagine? We just just do another one just so I can just, be in yeah, it. Just and it's, it's kind of mediocre, not really great, but it's just sort of a vanity piece. Yeah, yeah. I can, yeah, be, in great, I can, can be in a cape and be a wizard for maybe you know, thirty-seven minutes of the film. I, I'm really struggling, man. Everybody I play, like, I just, I, yeah, everyone I play either has something terrible happen. I, I think I'll just stick with my life. I was it's, just gonna it's say, been nice. Can we choose our yeah. own life? Yeah. It's much pretty, calmer. We're pretty lucky. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. That's cool. The the in in the scene where you two meet, there is a, a sequence where a door opens, and I mean, like, a, a, I love to hear how the wind was brought to you on set. What was that experience like? Was stuff really hitting you in the face? Because these propellers are throwing everything at you. How many times did you have to do it? It we, wasn't many. Wasn't many at all. Because it all. was. As you can tell, the set got pretty messed yeah. up every you time. You can't really that. reset a soft cheese <laughs> when it goes at about thirty miles an hour and hits someone in the face. It's hard to reset that. But there was a there was so they basically brought in these two fans, these two propellers that are normally only for use in outside spaces, and they brought them like inside to blow all the cheese everywhere. And so we did that for the wide. But then for the close up shot of you, they had the wind on you, and then there were just like six people about five foot away from you throwing just nuts throwing. and cheese so in your sister, face. So my sister, I said, anyone who really has some anger issues with me, and really, because we were towards the end of our shoot, is allowed to throw the cheese, because we knew that there would be some great propulsion with the, and my, my assistant, she was throwing things the hardest. <laughs> Um, but it was, you know, it, I mean, that, that when you look at the behind the scenes, those are the moments you just see human beings just like, mm. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Well, it was the, a great shot. There's the Blu-ray pitch. Watch, watch us all throw cheese at each other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. See how I am? You, you had you had a sequence of the film that really just made me claustrophobic to watch it, where you were going through a tunnel. Uh, yeah. Like genuinely, I felt like, oh my gosh. As did I. When you filmed that, was that like yeah. actually what? Did you have to? I want to hear yeah. about that. And this is what's so sad. I'm claustrophobic. And it was a, a, a long hole uh, that was on you know, a platform. We were on stage, and half of the hole you were able to push out. So it, was, it would open and close, you know, but I started on one end, and I, I crawled through the other. And I got about a foot from the end, and I had to wedge myself through the stalactites and stalagmites. And I got claustrophobic, and I started to panic. And I was like, get me out of here. Please get me out of here. And I had, I had that moment, and then they shut everything down. I pulled myself through, and, and then someone goes, you know, you could have just pushed the thing open, but I completely forgot. I'm claustrophobic, so that moment of when I'm pan there there's one little piece in there when I actually was, it was part of my panic, but uh, it, yeah, it doesn't feel good. If you're at all claustrophobic, that does not feel good. So that line, when you go into the, when you're put in the tomb at the end where you say, this is not an active nightmare that I've had since I was 14, is that, was that? No, no, it's a brilliant line oh, okay. written by one of our writers, but, but yeah, the, to the tomb was fine. Yeah. The, the, the tomb, I didn't have a problem with. It was that yeah. moment that I just, I had a bit of an issue with. Yeah. What a couple days yeah. that must have been. Well, great, great yeah. work. Thank didn't you for doing it. Didn't feel good. It. Didn't um, feel good. And, and Daniel, all actually, for the art. <laughs> the, the things we do. Yeah. Uh, Daniel, I want to come to you. I, I'd love to hear about this because I'm curious when you go in for roles like villains and then everybody kind of is naturally going to be like, oh, well, he was the hero for so long. When somebody plays a role that becomes as iconic as Harry Potter did, do you go into casting rooms or conversations and find that people have kind of preconceived notions of what to expect from you? Or do you get to kind of just go in fresh, you feel like? I think now, at this point, like I've got a reputation for being kind of weird in the things I want to do, which is lovely, and weird begets weird, which is great. Um, but generally speaking, I think like 
the way I saw it after Potter was that for every person that did only see me as as one thing, there was somebody out there who was like excited by the chance to show me as something else. Um, so like you know, there's, a, there's some directors would be like, oh, he's only Harry Potter, and some directors would be like, oh, I'd love to sh reinvent him in a way for the world. So you know, mm -hmm. they, it's uh, it go, goes both ways. Hey man, well you were great in this. You both are fantastic. The movie's an absolute blast. Thank you so much for the time. Thanks. Thank, Thank you so much, Thank you. Thank you.